you, Mr. Lieutenant Governor. Uh, it's extremely disappointing that with all the problems faced in this state, the, one of the legislature's first order of business is to go after our workers by lowering their wages. But it's more than that, and I know a lot of people are framing it in terms of economics for these workers, and it is important. I know a lot of people are framing it in, in terms of an attack on labor, which it is, but there's more to it than that. Let's take a look at this act. Let's take a look at why it was signed into law. It was signed into law in 1965 by then Governor George Romney, in some relation to a gentleman who was on the ballot at the national level a couple years ago. He was not a liberal. He was a conservative Republican. He was a pro-business Republican. And if you look at the legislative history of this piece, you saw that there were a lot of contractors and a lot of Michigan businesses that came in support of this. And why did they support it? Because they wanted some stability in the labor market. They, they understood that if you paid decent wages and you paid prevailing wages for certain areas, that you would attract talent there. You would keep jobs in the state. You would expand the skilled trades that we so desperately need. So this is more than an attack on labor. This is also an attack on businesses, and specifically Michigan businesses, because at the time, if you look at the testimony again, it was these out-of-state companies that were coming in. And I don't think that's anything that we should be promoting. Now, I know a lot of folks use the arithmetic, and they'll start talking about, OK, uh, you know, we'll get a, a lower bid on a, on a project because of this. But in those, those bids are, are just that. Those are bids. You have cost overruns. You have other costs that come into a contract. And when it takes longer to a job because you have less skilled workers, or you have more accidents, or you have to rebuild something because you had people that, frankly, weren't as skilled in doing that job, you have cost overruns. So prevailing wage, again, was a business model for going into the future. It is an attack on labor, but it's also an attack on Michigan businesses. Lastly, I'm, I'm extraordinarily disappointed with this legislative body. I have seen time and time again where major issues are jammed through the legislative process with nearly a hearing, with, with leaving people not an opportunity to speak on an issue, and then we come up to, after, after not even 24 hours after this thing comes out of committee, we're going from general orders to third reading all in one happy afternoon. And that's just wrong. That's disrespecting the people of the state of Michigan. That's disrespecting the process that we have here. And it's something that you should be ashamed of. Now, I'll also point out one other issue. This uh, $75,000 appropriation in there. That's only reason for that is to keep it off the ballot. You know that. I, I've seen this trick used before. It's not an honest thing to do. It's something we should actually look at um, changing our, our Constitution so that if it does have an appropriation, the voters should always have an opportunity to speak on something. They should always have an opportunity to challenge the legislature. They should always have that opportunity to second guess what we've done up here. And that's what this appropriation does. That's what this bill does. That's why this whole package is bad. I urge you to uh, reconsider it. I know people's minds are set up, but I'm voting no on it. I'd like this to be my no vote explanation, and I appreciate everybody else voting no on it as well. Thank you.